Um, okay, so do you want to go first or? Okay, so ready, anytime you're ready. So we're talking about legalizing marijuana. So our group is um, pro uh, legalizing uh, marijuana. I said, although the uh, United States currently uh, does not legalize marijuana usage, however, we cannot deny the fact that marijuana has medical uh, benefits in some degrees. First, uh, marijuana, unlike cigarettes and tobacco, it will not cause lung cancer. And second, it does not cause lung cancer or other common cancer. And second, THC, a major active ingredient, can, ingredient in cannabis, will protect and treat post-traumatic stress disorders. And also, marijuana addiction tends to be less severe than cocaine, heroin, and alcohol addiction. And I want to talk about the medical marijuana. Uh, it can help manage pain felt by trauma patients, cancer patients, and patients experience, experiencing nerve damage. Marijuana has an active, uh, active a chemical com complex called THC, which can act as an adjective that helps patients relax and deal with the pain. And another benefit that scientists have found in medical marijuana is that it can help uh, protect the worsen of Alzheimer's disease uh, among the elderly age. Uh, according to the studies, THC in marijuana has the ability to erect the formation of plaques in the brain. So with all these benefits, it is, it is uh, also complete to say that marijuana is useful is not completely harmful. So okay. yeah. I decided I would leave I would put this up so you could see how many seconds you had oh, left. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you have one second left. <laughs> <laughs> I thought right. it was, we would have uh, run out of time.
right, so we have a question from the audience. Uh, make sure to, to specify which side you're asking the question. So we can give you give you both side question. That you both sides comment about scientific facts about marijuana. So we wonder where did you get this? So do you have authorities or something reliable source? Um, uh, studies conducted in Netherlands where cannabis, uh, cannabis is legalized and uh, uh, the other countries such as like uh, Portugal, uh, the illegal use of all drugs show that no negative effect on either additional rate uh, or misuse by young people. No, we want to use where it's come from, where does it come from? We have the Your uh, effect. Our source is from the American Association of Doctors and they said that they, they have done several research uh, in the US and they haven't found uh, that it has a medical benefit. Okay. Okay. Alright, and we have uh, our, our sources is from a doctor called uh, Dr. Don Mentoski, professor of Medical Medicine at the University of California, Los Angeles, is among the foremost, foremost researchers studying the effects of marijuana on the lungs. His uh, 2006 study, one of the largest to look at marijuana use on lungs and upper airway cancers, found that the association of these cancers with marijuana, even long term or heavy use, is not strong or maybe below practical. Okay, so your side will have two minutes now to make a statement. Ready? Okay. Yeah, I think people usually abuse this drug and people can get addicted to the marijuana. <laughs> we are, I would like to talk about the addiction. Long term marijuana can lead to addiction that like uh, just smoking, smoking cigarette. That is, people have difficulty controlling their drug use and cannot stop, even though it interferes with the many aspects of their lives. Many people begin to lose control, then they need more amount of marijuana, and many people spend more time and money getting more marijuana, Many people will continue to use, even though they have uh, mari using marijuana has negative effect on their lives, such as losing job or they might can getting lower academic performance, or they could be getting arrested. So they are absolutely, absolutely <laughs> addicted to the marijuana. Can you deny? It? And we also want to talk about the criminal race because of the use of marijuana. Uh, according to the statistical data of the FBI, the crime has increased in California since the use of marijuana for uh, medical use uh, was approved. And also that uh, the British Medical Association explained that that is, about, that is because people cannot control themselves when they are uh, under the influence of marijuana. So they can turn aggressive into the society too. Okay, so now your rebuttal. When we talked about addiction, uh, what about alcohol and tobacco? It's actually marijuana is less dangerous than alcohol. First, unlike alcohol, it is not often produced as inhibited behavior that triggers the risk of violence. And second, unlike tobacco, it does not appear to be linked with lung cancer or the common cancer, and even on the thorough research, some has claimed that the heavy marijuana smokers have no connection with cancer. And moreover, even though using marijuana may cause addiction, experts agree that marijuana addiction tends to be less severe than cocaine, heroin, methamphetamine, or alcohol addiction. And there, 
One more. Uh, some research suggested that marijuana use substitutes for drinking, which were the lower uh, driving risks. That means that if we use marijuana to substitute alcohol and drinks, that it would, when drivers they drink marijuana drinks, it could actually reduce the uh, rate of, the rate of uh, car accidents. All right, and also uh, our opponent has talked about crime. Um, also, marijuana, medical marijuana is not linked with crime, absolutely. First, a recent study of mar medical marijuana dispensaries showed that no associations between the number of dispensaries in the neighborhood and rates of violence crime or property crime. That means that when people go to the dispensary to get their marijuana, they, the study shows that even though you have a many dispensary that holds marijuana and people get it, they have no connection with the, the marijuana they possess. In fact, it is uh, not the problem that they possess, it is the problem that they, how they use it. So I think mar medical marijuana is totally beneficial. Okay, so one minute for, for question from the audience. So. So, all right, the question, what is the question? Okay, so, all right, Ryan asked one question already. Mirzo, did you, you didn't ask her. You did already, right? So, either of you want to ask the question? Yeah? So you, you agreed on the question that you asked? Okay, great. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I exactly agree with, uh, with uh, the legalized uh, marijuana, but you tell that uh, um, the society needs education, I think, to how to use the marijuana. So the doctor should tell them, and uh, we, we need, like, um, I don't know, the special classes, magazines, and more access to the information that will be the good way to, to teach. Uh, society, how we use the marijuana, because exactly the same problem is with alcohol, cigarette, and the addiction is everywhere, yes. The coffee too, for example. And uh, if uh, marijuana has, addiction, has a benefit and help the people, that will be a good way to, to study how to use this kind of medical you know, medicine. So that means uh, your question is that uh how to educate people? Yes, okay. yes. Yeah. It's, it's possible, yes, I don't know. Okay, nice. As I said, uh, as my, as my uh, partner said, uh, the studies conducted in the Netherlands and also in Portuguese, they legalize marijuana and it does not cause additional rate of misuse of young people. So that means that uh, whether 
uh, totally at first, at first I agree with your argument that if we educate people on how to uh, correctly use marijuana, then the addiction rate would be lower, yeah, yeah possibly lower. And uh, I think that the problem is not about uh, marijuana itself, it's about all efficient drugs. Consider uh, tobacco and uh, alcohol. Uh, when we think of some uh, uh, murder rate in uh, drunk drivers, first uh, drunk drivers is the first is the top murder rate in the United States. So uh, why alcohol is legal and marijuana is illegal? Yeah, that's weird. Okay. So so now we have. Uh, Statement and then a rebuttal, right? Okay. So, but we just you did your statement. Okay. So, so it's your your statement, your rebuttal. Okay. All right. And I know you just answered that question, so I'll give you a minute to. Vacation, Jamaica, one week. I went Where? last year, Jamaica, Jamaica. Oh, Jamaica, yeah. The marijuana is everywhere. On the side to walk, you can take whatever you want. But nobody's interested in you, exactly. I think about the, of course, the autochthonous people. Yes. But if you take, you smell it's okay, but if you like, you know, ah, oh, that is okay. Okay. Ready? And I'd like to hear both of you speak for this. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Ready? First of all, uh, there are uh, reasons to support legalized marijuana. First, uh, there are uh, political leaders like uh, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo and New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg have both recently called for the the criminalization of open possess of marijuana. I uh, think um, because people do not want to violate law, yet they want the same effect as using marijuana. People try to use unidentified um, drugs that under no reg regulations. It will cause more problems because those drugs, uh, the immigrants are unknown. No one knows. Also, uh, when we talk about uh, crime rate and about uh, abuse, uh, like police force abuse, when um, in some cases uh, of all drug-related arrests, 82% are for possessions. That means that they do not uh, do some harmful things like the homicide or uh, other abuse. They just possess the marijuana, but they are arrested. Is that kind of discrimination? Yeah. Because why don't they police just call their homicide people and instead they call these guys for only possess marijuana? Is that ridiculous? It's just illegal. So 
so you cannot uh, do it like you cannot distinguish uh, what is good or what is bad. And we found that 90% of people who start using Mariana are more likely to use another one because they they are not satisfied with this more high need. <laughs> they, they want something more. So you, you guys are denying about addiction, but it's it's true that they. Uh, yeah, as I said, people are more. expression saved by the bell so saved by the bell it's also a TV show but it's like meaning that you know just as you think you're in trouble then the bell rings and then you know, you're saved by the bell right so you're just saved by the bell right there I didn't have any problem your your question or your, your statement was trailing off okay, okay so now um, I think we'll do closing statements let's take give you a couple of minutes to um, that's the question you want one last question and then closing statement? Okay, all right. So um, give us a, one minute to think about a question. You already have a question? Oh, okay, great, okay, stop. Okay, so the, the audience has a question and um, go ahead and ask it and then we'll go from there. Um, we're, as an audience, to want to make sure that, um, what about people who don't smoke? What happens, um, what happens if you legalize Marijuana, it can buy. Uh, what happens to the people who don't smoke? Because uh, some people, some people get dizzy and they get have headache by secondhand smoke. If someone smokes nearby a different person, so what do you think about that? Right. I think it's the same question, uh, same uh, issues as tobacco. It's like uh, New York State now has a uh, very strong. Law that enacted and force people can only smoke in public area. I think they will do the same as marijuana. So the problem is that maybe they would uh, government or uh, Bloom or May City Mayor Bloomberg will <laughs> enforce will make the marijuana use make more enforcement to uh, to force it to smoke in uh, particular areas so that. No people would be affected. Yeah, this is my argument. Okay, that's great. So I'll give you a couple of minutes to prepare your closing statements. Don't, don't you guys have questions for them? <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's illegal, and if you legalize, we are, we want to make sure it's safe. Um, yeah. No, but that's a that's a really cool, that was an interesting yeah. question though, because you know we talked about secondhand smoke as being very harmful to your health, and you know when I was growing up, my parents both smoked, and I probably have bad lungs as a result. But um, with secondhand marijuana smoke, okay, so maybe it's not as toxic, but you get high from it. Yeah. So it's like a different issue yeah. altogether, a completely different issue. Right? Yeah. It's not a health thing; it's about an intoxication issue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You mean marijuana smoke or, or marijuana, just regular smoke? Marijuana smoke. Yeah, so it's funny, we, we do the gesture like smoking, um, marijuana like smoking, right? Two different gestures. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, do you have a smoke, right? Or it's like, <laughs> it means different things, honestly. It's pretty funny, right? So does your your roommate smoke pot? Marijuana pot. Yeah. And so you get high. You get we call that a contact high. You know what that is? Yeah. Okay. Contact high. It just means you have contact with it against your um, accidentally. I started yelling at the text anyway. It's like, dude, stop getting high. Can I change Yeah, so when you, when you get a roommate, when you look for a roommate, you always want to put an ad at like no smokers or no. Next time. He was my friend from the dormitory and 
I'm from the from the Y. Yeah. Yeah. But he controls it. From it's his on. place. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He but has the lease. He doesn't know. It just I told him to control this mold. No, oh, control this mold. We have like the opposite side. Okay. okay. So ready? Um, and let's see who goes first with the closing statement. Since they started, then I guess you'll do the closing statement first. Okay. Ready? And oh, uh, one. Let's see. One minute closing statement. Right, and so we have to finish. Uh, that we want to say that we strongly believe that the legalization of marijuana will have negative effects in our society, as such as a crime increase and addiction and abuse of this substance. And did this. Did you guys see the advertisement that children whose parents are smoking are will start smoking in their early lives? It's just saying if we use the drug, our children start bad in early early lives. Thank you. <laughs> things, things. Okay, that's great. Okay, and ready. Well, first of all, we cannot deny that. Also, uh, this is the first time in, two, uh, in 2007, a solid majority of Americans support legalizing marijuana for recreational use. 56% of Americans now support using marijuana as recreational use. Also, um, also, Dr. Yvonne Wood, a professor of medicine at the University of British Columbia and the founder of the National Center of for science and drug policy says no scientific evidence demonstrates an association between the amount of money government spend on drug law enforcement and rates of drug use. So, however, some nations like the United States spend the most have among the highest rate of drug use. Also, there is a judge. He also suffers from severe damage and he uses marijuana as his, as his Okay, I'll let you. go ahead. You can just go. One more example. Uh, the New York State uh, su Supreme Court, uh, the name is Justin Gar uh, Justice Gustin Re Revolge. Uh, he described how medical marijuana was the only drug that helped ease his nausea and allowed him to eat or sleep during the uh, brut brutal treatment for his cancer. So a judge actually said that. That's pretty easy to get. Well done. Well done. Well argued. All right. Fantastic.